Hi! In this video, I will discuss to you the different specialties in pharmacy practice. It will help you realize that the role of pharmacist is not just secluded at the confines of a hospital or in the pharmacies in the community. You can also work to another field related to the profession. At the end of this discussion, students should be able to elaborate the different functions and responsibilities of a pharmacist, enumerate the various specialties in pharmacy practice, and differentiate their job description. So let's proceed with the definition of a pharmacist. So who is a pharmacist? In general, pharmacists are also known as chemists or druggists. These are healthcare professionals who practice in pharmacy, the field of health sciences focusing on safe and effective medication use. In other words, being a pharmacist brings a lot of work opportunities in which you can apply your knowledge, skills, and understanding. The main role of pharmacist is to ensure proper, safe, and effective use of medication. That is why pharmacist is responsible for counseling patients by giving them information about the drugs and its uses. Apart from this, a pharmacist is also the one who isolate and extract the drug from the plant of its origin. The pharmacist is also responsible in conducting experiment to determine whether the plant is effective for its proposed medicinal use. Next is the different specialties in pharmacy practice. We have the community pharmacist, clinical pharmacist, hospital pharmacist, industrial pharmacist, academic pharmacist, regulatory pharmacist, research pharmacist, and herbal pharmacist. I will explain to you the different responsibilities of each pharmacist. Let's start with a very common specialization here in the Philippines, the community pharmacist. Community pharmacists are also known as the front line of healthcare. As you all know, before a patient seeks a physician to have a checkup, the first thing they do is go to a pharmacy and ask over-the-counter drugs to ease the symptoms of their disease, which means the community pharmacist is the first healthcare professional whom they ask for health services. Community pharmacist is also a bridge between general physician, nurses, and other health professionals and public. It is because when a doctor prescribes medicine to the patient, the patient will go to the pharmacy and the community pharmacist will be the one to give the drug to the patient and explain to the patient the use of that specific drug. That way, the community pharmacist connects the patient to the prescriber. Community pharmacist is the one also who gives and distributes drugs in supermarkets, pharmacy shops, and healthcare centers. Take note, any establishment who sells or dispenses drugs must need a pharmacist. Checking dosage and ensuring that medicines are correctly and safely supplied and labeled are also some of the responsibilities of a community pharmacist. Dosage must be checked so that the right amount of drug will be given to the patient. Community pharmacist is also responsible for putting labels on a drug given to the patient, so that patients should know what is the name of the drug, what is the drug for, as well as how to take the drug. Community pharmacists, such as those who are working in company who conducts medical mission, they also monitor the blood pressure, blood sugar, and blood cholesterol level of their patients. These are tests to determine whether the patient has hypertension, diabetes, or if your body has too much fatty substance called cholesterol, which can determine if you have heart disease or atherosclerosis. Community pharmacists can also give information to the public regarding family planning, alcohol withdrawal, as well as lifestyle and healthy diet. Next is we have the hospital pharmacist. Hospital pharmacists 
work in larger hospitals and institutional pharmacies. They also frequently interact with doctors and other healthcare professionals. Hospital pharmacist maintains medical records of the patient. They also select the dosage regimen appropriate for the patient. They also monitor and check whether the patient is complying with its medication and they are also responsible in reporting the reactions and side effects of the drugs taken by the patient. A hospital pharmacist is also a member of the Pharmacy and Therapeutics Committee. Pharmacy and Therapeutics Committee is a committee in a hospital that is responsible in all policies and procedures related to the medication used within the hospital. Since a pharmacist is knowledgeable about drugs, its uses, effects, and other information related to it, hospital pharmacists can also educate other health professionals about the right use of drug. And lastly, hospital pharmacist is also in charge with acquiring drugs as well as in the inventory of it. Next is the clinical pharmacist. There are also many clinical pharmacists nowadays and the main focus of being a clinical pharmacist is to provide direct patient care that optimizes the use of medication while promoting health, wellness, and disease prevention. So clinical pharmacists are also working in the hospitals. One of its responsibility is reviewing record of patients to determine the appropriateness of medication therapy. They are checking the record of the patients and they are assessing whether the drugs prescribed has no interaction with each other, no side effects that could trigger the other disease of the patient, or whether the patient is not allergic to the drug. Clinical pharmacists also evaluate the patient's condition to ensure that all health issues are being treated. Clinical pharmacists also make sure that patients understand and adhere to their medication. When you say medication adherence, it does not only focus with taking the right drug, it also involves taking the drug at the right time, at the right dose, and at the right intervals. And lastly, clinical pharmacists present medication information and assess patients' understanding about the drug upon the discharge. Next is academic pharmacist. Registered pharmacist can also work as an academic pharmacist. Being an instructor or professor in a college or university is one of the description of this specialization. Academic pharmacist is where research and testing go hand in hand. Academic pharmacist produces and trains student pharmacists to fulfill the future demand of the market. They are those pharmacists who nurture and develop the knowledge and skills of the students to produce competent pharmacists in the future. They also give proper education to the aspiring pharmacists and they also impart their knowledge about ethical issues in pharmaceutical practice. Next is we have the industrial pharmacists. They are doing research to know more about the uses of drugs. They are also responsible for conducting clinical drug trials and evaluate the results of these trials to determine the drug's effectiveness as well as the potential risk or side effects of these drugs. They also develop new medicines by performing tests, assuring quality and ensure that medication complies with regulations. So they are using latest methods, technologies, and processes to develop new medications. They test medications for its efficiency and safety and to assure that the drug they developed is in good quality because it should pass the standard specifications set by the regulation of the Food and Drug Administration. Industrial pharmacists may also determine whether drug products developed by pharmaceutical companies have both right ingredients and correct amount of ingredients. And lastly, they are also involved in sales, marketing, and promoting new drugs to consumers, hospitals, and doctors' offices to let them know about their drug products. 
Aside from industrial pharmacists, we also have the herbal pharmacist. So as a pharmacist, we need to know that many of our patients prefer the use of herbal medicines other than those synthetic ones. Herbal pharmacists are those persons trained in pharmacognosy. They are knowledgeable about the active chemical component of medicinal plants. Herbal pharmacists are responsible in the identification of herbal product for a particular medicine, also in the cultivation, harvesting, and purification of the active ingredient of that plant. They are also responsible in the formulation of herbal medicine in a dosage form. So these herbal pharmacists may work in a variety of settings. They may work in pharmaceutical company as part of the team that develops new drugs. They may also work in agricultural companies to develop pesticides. And lastly, herbal pharmacists may also be involved in research in phytochemistry. When you say phytochemistry, their focus is to study the chemicals derived from plants. We also have research pharmacists who may conduct research in different fields such as chemistry. So they study the composition, structure, properties, as well as the chemical changes of the drug when taken together with other substances. Pharmacology. They study how drugs interact in our living system or what are the drug actions in our body. Toxicology, they conduct research regarding the safety and biological effects of drugs, chemicals, and other substances on living organisms. They also conduct methods to determine harmful effects of drug and the dosage that can cause toxic effects. Microbiology, they conduct research on antimicrobial drugs as well as in the emergence of microorganisms such as bacteria and viruses. Research pharmacists may also conduct research in the non-clinical and clinical trials of drugs. And lastly, they may also conduct study to determine the factors as to why patients cannot comply or adhere to medication therapy. Next is the regulatory pharmacist. Working in a public or private sector as a regulatory pharmacist may lead you to the following responsibilities. First, you are responsible to monitor the policies regarding to the health and drug products. You will also check whether a certain pharmacy follow the standards set by your authority. Second, you may also act as the link between the company and the local regulatory authorities on matters relating to the quality, safety, and efficacy of drugs. Next, if you are working in FDA as a regulatory pharmacist, you will also be responsible for the approval of new drugs. And lastly, as a regulatory pharmacist, it is your responsibility to protect public health by controlling the safety and efficacy of products in areas including pharmaceuticals, veterinary medicines, medical devices, and many other more. Some other specialization may include the following. Public health pharmacists. These are pharmacists who are providing education regarding on policy, patient education, and population management. The common example of this are pharmacists working in the Department of Health. The main focus of public health pharmacists is on improving the health of the population through the right use of medicines and pharmacy services. We also have the nuclear pharmacist. They are pharmacists involved in the preparation of radioactive materials for patient administration that will be used to diagnose and treat specific diseases in nuclear medicine. They are also the one who order, receive, and control inventory of radioactive drugs. Lastly, is we have the veterinary pharmacist. They may be involved with dispensing medications that have been prescribed by veterinarian and advice owners of animals. We also have the pharmacy technician. Some pharmacists here in the Philippines work abroad as a pharmacy technician, but before becoming a pharmacy technician abroad, they have to pass first the certifying exam or the pharmacy technician certification offered in that specific country or place in abroad. So what does a pharmacy technician do? 
a pharmacy technician, works closely with pharmacists in hospitals, drug and grocery stores, and other medicinal settings to help prepare and distribute medicines to patients. In other words, they are assisting the pharmacist. The following are the responsibilities of the pharmacy technician. First, accepting written prescription or refill request from patients and evaluating information for completeness or accuracy. So they check whether the prescription is correct or not. Next, they also record medical histories while maintaining confidentiality to the patient. So all information must not be disclosed to anyone. Next, pharmacy technician also deliver quality customer service to patients responding to inquiries, questions, or requests, and referring them to the pharmacist for medical information. And lastly, they can also prepare prescription and perform inventory audits, but all of these are done under the supervision of a pharmacist. So these are the references I used in making my PowerPoint presentation. So that would be all for this topic. See you on my next video.